there, Libra. Welcome to a manifestation reading from February through April 21st. And this is um, looking at the period of time when all the planets are direct. And if there's anything special you want to manifest, it doesn't have to be a material. <laughs> I was going to say it doesn't have to be a material thing. It can be like a relationship. And then I get the t Ten of Cups, which is the card of, um, you know, like marriage, the house that you rule in astrology, but it's other things too. Um, so it's just kind of funny. I'll, um, I will uh, tell you about what these cards mean after I lay them out. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, um, one thing, I, I bring astrology into my tarot readings usually because I really do see the connection. And um, this is a big year for, for um, people who are Libra and Aquari uh, Aquarius and Aries because they are um, experiencing the beginning of a series of eclipses in 2023, going into 2024. I don't know about 2025. I really don't look more than 12 months ahead um, when I do private readings or for transits, um, just because that's not, I don't feel like that's the way that I want to live life is just being too future oriented. But in any case, um, I see with some of these cards like the Ten of Cups and the World card that those things reflected into that. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, the heart of the matter is the Ten of Cups. This is a card of family harmony. So it could be some kind of like good fortune that hits your um, family and how this can, you know, this, uh, I have in the past, this isn't really the, what I call the past position, although it is really the past because it is speaking about what has, um, motivated this. The 10 of pentacles is an inheritance card. So if this is family money, either from somebody who has passed or you are getting, uh, help from your family, or if you are working for the family business, and maybe if you were unemployed, it feels like uh, a sigh of relief because you can pay your bills and that's kind of, you kind of like paying your bills. Um, and so it may rub off on your family and you feel this sense of that you can breathe again. Um, and the Ten of Cups is the pot at the end of the rainbow. So it is supposed to be this, it probably because the number 10 is connect with, connected with the end of a cycle. Um, but there's also, I think, that kind of double meaning because the one represents a new cycle and the zero is like the uh, unknown element involved. So... Uh, you're able to take care of one pressing matter and that kind of gives you a sense of relief, but you're also starting a new journey as well. Um, this can also be meeting someone that you feel is marriage material. Marriage meaning that you want to be a life partner with that person. I'm not talking about the literal having to get a contract and all of that, but just that life partner aspect of it. Um, if you have, you know, met someone and it's like a blended family, I can see that as well. And, um, I feel like the 10 of pentacles should be Capricorn. I, I, I still need to check that out. Um, I haven't really, it is connected to earth energy. So it's like you, you may feel like this person, 
has this kind of solid quality to them that really makes you feel like, wow, you know, we can build a life together. Um, the first step in all of this is the seven of pentacles, being patient and watching things grow. So like if this is, um, somebody that you have met, um, as a Libra person, you may be already making wedding plans, but, uh, being able to just let things unfold naturally is the best way to ensure that you have the goal that you, that you're looking to manifest, uh, represented by that, uh, central card. And, um, what's coming in is a three of wands. This is a card of looking for greener pastures or wider fields, whatever you want to call it. But this is a card of expansion. So, um, this like even, uh, the 10 of pentacles can be affluence, can be money, a lot of money in general. So with the three of wands, you may be traveling to promote a business. Oh yeah. You know, it's funny. Like I'm looking at the, the outcome card and I got the world card and I was thinking about the end of an era, the end of a cycle. Uh, this is the last card of the major arcana, but it also can be a, um, long distance travel card. So maybe there is some kind of, uh, future travel for uh, Libra people. And actually your ninth house, which rules that area is, um, the, you know, the sign of Gemini. So I'm trying to think of any transits that have kind of gone along with it. Oh, Mars, Mars is being direct. Maybe that was something that you had to stop some plans to, go somewhere far away when Mars was retrograding all these months. And now you're, you're either in another country or you're making plans to get there. So very, very interesting. But yeah, I see with the world card, the end of a cycle. Oh yeah. I have two tens there, 10 of pentacles and 10 of cups. And, um, with eclipses happening, that also um, will bring up these themes of beginnings and endings for you in 2023, Libra. So anyway, very, very interesting. I hope that this resonated. If you would like a private reading, I'm promoting my double astrology readings called my deep dive readings where I can, you know, I have more time to analyze your natal charts. So it's an hour for each reading for a special price as a package deal and an hour of transits for the next uh, 12 months. You can find out more information about that reading and other readings at the link below. Thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.